Hello, I am Polygon MC, and welcome back to my playthrough of Space Engineers. Last episode, we were working on a combined grinder and welding ship, and got most of the ship done. Got the design laid out, got everything welded up. Encountered a problem though with the uh, uh, connector that we had underneath. If I spin it round, the connector goes from a large conveyor tubes connectors, but on the bottom of this conveyor only has the small. Now we do have on the top of this is the large reactor which is connected it's identical to the block that's underneath they're just finding another place to put the connector on to a large uh, surface so what I'm thinking of doing I believe this uh, conveyor let's take this one out shoe on one side it does it's got the large surface on. I think they've taken this out and rotating it this way. So it'll move that surface to here. It'll keep the two ends that connect up with these cargo containers the same. Um, it will then lose the surface to connect straight up to this large reactor but for how much th it actually uses uranium I'll just put so much in I'll never need to ever put any more in again actually how much is in it it's got 40 it'll never need doing again so for taking let's take this leg out the way because the ship doesn't really have that much of like I was going to say backbone, it's got this one running across the top I can't remember how much uh, the large reactors play in terms of like structural as in I don't want to take this out and then the ship to fall apart so temporary let's just going to join up both these uh, Oh, not, not there. Both these cargo containers. Just in case, just something to hold the ship together. I'm actually going to run it straight to there. Just in case, like I said, I don't want the the ship to fall apart. Nine. Right, so I now should be able to find this. Bugger. <laughs> oh, gyros. I forgot about them. That's there was four on each side. And that was two. I think the other two are gone. Hasn't floated somewhere. Nope, the other two are gone. Well that's not too bad I suppose. Right then, can we get conveyor? Right. So let me. Move that should be right. I'm looking just at the block at the top of the screen. 
it's the small connectors. I'm rotating it like clockwise to the right. It's the large connector. So the large connector now should be to the cap container to the right. If I wrote it, and there's another large one. If I put to the left and the opposite sides from each other. And then this is a single large to the bottom. I think that should be okay. going to move something between right and can you go into that so yeah so the convey is working and I can move everything between it and we've now got a large there so it won't connect to the reactor but it's one of those things and it hasn't kept the colour So if we get these gyros back in. Thinking of the gyros. Attaching them to the motor. Uh, to the engines instead. Fusters. Actually you're not. I'm going to take that off and reattach it back to their conveyor. Because if one of these thrusters blow up, that will be the conveyor with it. Yeah, that's right. So it's now this now back to the connector. There's the other one. And I've still got the other two to put on the other side. Put this off. There we go. Now then for the uh, connector. Do I have the parts or not? Yeah. Gyros for the other side. I don't have the parts. Just be a few seconds and I'll get these welded up. What's the other gyros welded in? Oh, and I've still got the. I forgot about that. This mortar. Large steel tube. Forgot about that. Large steel tube. It's just the one. Did I get the other side? I don't think I took it out. So what I'm going to do now is get it connected up in place of this ship to get a lot of the welding parts moved over. This is already disconnected. Yeah, It's always difficult sometimes to get these away. I find either going down or up at the same time and you're able to get disconnected. I'll move this out the way. This has enough uranium for a while. I'm just going to leave them parked. Just like that. Right, and get this connected. 
I'm actually looking the best way to do it. I think it would be this way. No, I thought I should have made this a little bit longer. Let's give it a go. perspective is sometimes a bit difficult to get right how was that for space wise that's alright so let's get everything transferred over so these are the ones for the ship. Ah, sometimes ah, I haven't uh, turned on the connector. There we go, that's better. So this is the ship. This is now to the base. I'm basically going to get everything moved over and just hope don't lose the welding ship as that will be nearly everything gone. Is the shifted. Doesn't really matter what cargo intent they're going, the welders as they need items it'll all matter to just pull them for wherever they are in the system. Uh, wish it auto stacked. I think I don't. I think I've run out of uh, steel as well. Two, three, four. Get a few of these. Furious clicking. Six thousand. Which is not enough. Seeing if there's iron anywhere else that can be moved over to this assembler. As between assemblers, it won't transfer items, which is a little bit annoying. Like that. So let's transfer ten thousand. And yeah, it's now got enough iron for all of them. So let's get you moved off what's there. So I think first thing we're gonna use this ship for P can I break away? Come on. Come on. That was a bit dicey. Let's just move fully out the way. I think would be to extend this. Make it a little bit longer. Just check sometimes there's items going here. No. Let's bring this out a little bit. So it wants to be that colour. 
it's just lost its colour. One, two. Just looking at the side. I think three should be enough. So let's see if I've got enough parts in this. I think those spotlights are a little bright. Right. That certainly makes life a lot easier and one of the main reasons why I wanted this welding ship put in. So much faster, so much quicker and makes life a lot easier. So I think next episode we've got the basic tools that we need to really get going. Something to get a large decent amount of ores in still quite small scale compared to what's available what we can do but then a welding and grinding ship to then make the task of building bigger ships hopefully a lot easier so I don't know whether to because we could now do with some sort of fighter something not necessarily a ba battleship but wouldn't mind having a go, and we don't have any on the screen at the moment, of one of the military transports or commercial freighters. Uh, a lot of them are often armed with Gatling guns. The, uh, the military transports and the mine layers will have missiles as well. And they are extremely tricky to take by yourself. Uh, in teams of people, it can be a little bit easy, but by yourself... Yeah, it takes a bit of ingenuity and more than likely loss of life multiple times. So you think, yeah, next episode we're going to build a little fighter ship, Gatling gun. Let's have a look what's... I don't think there's anything extra available. Yeah, Gatling gun, rocket launcher, and I believe these are still only for the large ships, yeah. And see, we'll have a go with some of these decoys as well to go on with the fight and let a few decoys go. Hopefully, the ship targets them, and then we can get in and take control of the ship. So, I think that's a good plan. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Of course, that's if you want to. And I'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye.